week's episode of Love Subbing. I thought we'd do something different this time. You know, Cindy and I have been towing the Love Sub here for over 16 years, and I've seen a lot of videos on how to set up, how to hook up, uh, how to set up your campsite, but I haven't seen a lot on how to set up your truck on the inside as far as the little things that we've done to make traveling with our Airstream a little bit more user-friendly and a little bit more fun. So um, you can see the sub's got her winter pants on, her battery's gone, but that's all gonna change here in a couple of weeks as we're gonna be heading down south, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you how we set up the truck. So make sure you click subscribe down below here and that helps out the channel, leave a comment, and let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to start off at Cindy's uh, seat, the passenger seat. And the first thing that we do is for anything that we put in the door pockets, we always wrap in plastic. You can see, for example, our WBCCI membership edition. Uh, this book is wrapped in plastic because sometimes the door is open and it is a torrential downpour. Like and, today. Well, today's a little rainy, um, but the, the, this will keep your books um, nice and dry. We also keep napkins at the ready. Um, again wrapped in plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the glove compartment, see what we keep in here, as far as what we consider to be our essential kind of RV tools. The first of which is an eyeglass repair screwdriver. This is an excellent thing to have. We were traveling just south on I-95 uh, in Florida, and all of a sudden the lens popped out of my glasses. Cindy was able to take my glasses off, I could still see without them, but she was able to repair, they were my sunglasses and repair my glasses right then and there. So that's a very kind of cool tool to have. We also keep a pair of scissors with a little uh, kind of a cover there and that's so that when you have those snacks and you're trying to open up the snacks and you can't open up the snacks and you get all mad, you can take your scissors, cut it open, have your snack, and then we always keep a spare paper clip so we can put the snack back in the uh, location. We keep a pair of matches in the glove compartment. Now you'll see later in the video, I'll go over my safety equipment, but we keep the matches in the glove compartment uh, just in case uh, it would get wet back there. So it stays a little bit more dry here. So that's um, something that we keep. You need two types of flashlights, not just a regular white one, but we also keep, and I don't know why they always blink like that, but we always keep a red flashlight as well to keep our night vision intact sh should we require something um, to look at at night. So the red flashlight is very important. We also have, if you can recall, many years ago, for those of you that can see that, Continental Airlines, and they even got their old logo. This is probably 20, 30 years old, at least probably 30 years old, but this is an air sickness bag. And this should, you know, somebody all of a sudden get car sick and, you know, instead of making a mess somewhere, we keep this uh, here in our passenger compartment. Other than that, just the normal stuff that I think everybody would have, but those are kind of the unique items that we've uh, found to be very useful while Airstreaming. And that's kind of that. Also, a very important thing is under the seat, we have our device. And I bought this from Sporty's Pilot Shop, and this is intended, it's called the Little John, and it's intended for pilots in general aviation aircraft like Cessnas and stuff like that, when you, if you figure if you're out in the middle of the sky and you need to go, you need to go. So um, this is handy for, say you're stuck in traffic, bumper to bumper, and- And you don't you, have a peanut container. And you don't have a peanut container. Um, you can certainly use the Little John, so that's good. And also, of course, just in case you were wondering about Cindy, there is a female adapter that comes with it, as well as a, some sheets of toilet paper from an old MRE that I have. So um, this is for kind of Cindy. So that's kept underneath the seat. That's used as a last resort. It's used as, exactly. Um, so we also, of course, carry our Atlas. We still have a road Atlas. As you come off to this side, you can see we keep all of our campgrounds that we ever go to, the maps. We have notes that say like, for example, here, this one, at Sabago Lake says good sites in this area. So we keep all of these in our door pocket here, as well as a fire extinguisher on this side. Okay, we're gonna move into the back of the truck here, and this is where I keep my safety gear. So first of which, you know, we have our safety hat with the reflective stripes and the safety vest that I got from the Boilermaker 
uh, 15K race in Utica, New York. If you've not done that race and you're a runner, you should. Free beer at the end. It's totally awesome. But um, this is obviously to be safe on the road. This is my safety kit that I maintain. It's always in the truck. But we'll go ahead and show it because it's kind of designed for air. First and foremost, I have a super heavy toe strap. Then if I needed to tow or pull out the truck, I have a couple of ratcheting straps that will all, are always useful for tying things down. Just some random rope. You never know what you might need that for. We have our roadside safety flares. Of course, jumper cables. That helps with other airstreamers too. Yeah, and we, we actually use that for other stuff. Um, you can see the other half of the toe strap with the heavy duty hooks. Just some gloves in case I need them. We have an entrenching tool, which of course is a small shovel, foldable shovel, which could be helpful. We have a radio that can be cranked so it doesn't ever need batteries so that we can get weather reports or something else in an emergency. I have this little light thingy that can turn itself on. So if you had to plug that into a cigarette lighter, it would blink and you can hook it onto something on the side. A couple of Siloom light sticks. Again, to illuminate at night. Spare belt for the truck in case that should ever fail. We have from our Disney Marathon, a space blanket to kind of keep things warm. We have the heavy duty three warning triangles. These are what the truckers use. So not just one warning triangle, but we've got three of them that can go behind the airstream if ever we're on the side of the road. And then finally, this is left over from 1980 when we were in Germany. This is our, in Germany, it's really interesting because every vehicle is required to have a first aid kit in Germany. It's an absolute requirement. They won't let you pass your inspection without it. So I kept the case. But you've updated the contents. But absolutely. And I go through once a year and I update the contents. So we've got different bandages, um, all kinds of stuff. Some of the stuff is still left over from like Germany, like the safety pins. There's chalk, I think, to outline a body if somebody's on the side of the road or something <laughs> like that. So all of that stuff is in our first aid kit. That's if you're outlining my body on the side of the road, that's going to be worse than a first aid well, kit. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. So there, there it is, the safety portion of our Airstream kit. Okay, we've moved around to the driver's side of the truck. And again, when you look in the door here, we have all of the maintenance records uh, for the Ford F-150. So we can always do that. We also have the original logbook. This is an 01. F-150 and we have documented every single thing we've spent on this truck every fill up every gas mileage everything every airstreaming trip we've ever taken and that's how we calculate tow mileage um, on the airstream by figuring all of this out and logging it into this book so this is the one that we've finished we've got another one in the glove compartment I always carry a small American flag just in case I come upon a patriotic parade or something like that we have a fire blanket in addition to the fire extinguisher uh, that we keep. This goes into the uh, Airstream once we're done towing. Well, it goes underneath the dinette. But when we're towing, we keep it in the truck. And, of course, if you know Cindy and I, we always have this little bag in which we have our growler. This one is here from Magic Hat. And our howler. You probably didn't know that a half growler is called a howler. But we have our half growler, too, because you never know when we're going to stop off at a brewery. We're a Harvest Host members now, and so we might be staying at some breweries and stuff like that. So this always comes in handy for us. Finally, the last thing we keep in our door pocket, this little card here. Laminated. And it's laminated, and it shows the truck length, width, height, um, gross vehicular weight rating, gross combined weight rating. And the length, width, height of the Airstream, the unloaded rate, weight. And then I have also the rig's total length and total gross weight when hitched up. So that's there. So if ever we're hitting an overpass, we know that the truck um, is 
you know, the height of the truck is six or feet, if four we need inches. A turning radius. Yep. So we keep that. We're back in the driver's compartment. Now, this is usually where I am uh, driving the Airstream from or towing the Airstream. Uh, we do have to make sure Cindy does tow. She knows how to tow, but I'm usually the one doing it. So as I said before, we always have our CB radio. And if you're wondering why you still need a CB radio in this day and age of cell phones, I'll try and link a video up here somewhere if I learn how to do that on our Winter Storm Avery driving as to why a CB radio is so important. So just like I said before with Cindy's side, we um, everything we keep in the door panel is in plastic and this is something that was a throwaway at work many years ago 2008 but it's still applicable and this has all the hazardous chemical ratings for the uh, truck so we just play a name that hazardous chemical when we're on the road just something to pass the time and it's kind of fun we'd look at the symbol symbology on the truck we figure out what they're carrying how hazardous it is and should that truck crash how far away we need to get away from that truck then we have the center console uh first thing is we have a uh, infrared temperature sensor and the Airstream has its temperature sensing um, with its uh, pressure sensor monitors that we have but this here is to test the temperature of the tires of the truck and every single time we pull off to the side I go ahead and go around and I check the temperatures of both the truck and the Airstream. We have our emergency uh, cutter that would break the windows if we needed to break the windows as well as cut our seat belts if we were hanging upside down hopefully that never happens of course i've mentioned before how we never back the airstream up with our walkie talkies so those are in there uh, we have our lens cleaners so that whenever we're trying to clean our glasses those are always handy of course we also have stuff that everybody has in their truck like a road atlas and hand sanitizers and stuff like that but these are kind of the unique things we have our checklist of course i've mentioned many times before those of you who have ever seen me hitch or unhitch an airstream in the last 16 years have seen this around my neck reading off every step as i hitch or unhitch and, and, if, and if you're looking for that, the, the, got, the our steps are in the uh, New England unit uh, directory. Yes, so if you're members of the New England unit of the Airstream Club, you can certainly um, check that out. But if somebody wants to know, I can always let you guys know. And then finally, like I said, this is our vehicle log in which we track every single item that we've ever done with the truck or the Airstream. And you can see our Airstream cumulative mileage is 64,232 .3 which is 46.6% of our truck's 137, 955 miles. So that's kind of a look of what we keep in our truck and how we've customized it over the 16 years that we've been towing the Airstream. And if you have any questions, definitely uh, subscribe to our channel, comment in the sections, and we'll see you on down the road. Keep the shiny side up.